All right, I'm going to speak on this once because it got to be spoken on. But after this, we talking football. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back. Like I never left. First and foremost, before I get off into the video, like I always do, I want to say I appreciate y'all. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the likes and subscribes. This close to 11K. Like we're under 30 now. So appreciate that, man. If it's your first time here, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you like the content. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and do my thing so that you do like the content. But um, today's a little bit more serious of a topic. So I'm going to try my best to not overstep any boundaries and be respectful to everybody involved, um, especially the, the party or the people that lost someone, lost a loved one. Um, everything can't be football. That's all I'm going to say. Everything just can't be football. Um, some things it's just real life. Um, so before I get off into this, man, condolences and prayers to the family that lost a son, a brother, a friend, um, et cetera. Um, now to speak on the Kelvin Joseph portion of this boss man fat, um, the way I look at it is this boss man, Kelvin, he spoke to his, well, let me, let me step back. Um, an arrest has been made. All of y'all that have clicked on this video are pretty much full aware of the case. Um, Kelvin Joseph was wanted as a person of interest. The, um, the Dallas police department wanted to interview him connected to a murder that happened in March, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and basically, within the last 48 hours, they got a chance to speak with him. And then today they made an arrest. I'm not I'm not going to put the gentleman's names that were arrested in here. Let's just say that two people were arrested. I'm guessing the shooter and the driver. Um, usually, you know, the, 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 those are the people that I would think would be connected I'm not sure how many people are in the car, et cetera. I'm sure that, that information will come out. That's not why I'm here. Um, I'm here to talk about the fallout and what we can learn from a situation like this. Um, so now that's that's laid out, an arrest has been made. Kelvin Joseph is not connected to it. He wasn't the shooter. Um, he was probably involved in the altercation, but whatever happened, he hasn't been detained. Um, doesn't look like he's facing any time. I don't know what the league's going to do. I'm sure suspension is going to be connected to this. I'm sure, especially since y'all know how they do with Dallas. But Kelvin Joseph, as of right now, isn't going to be facing any criminal charges. Um, and everybody's jumping out to the conclusion saying, Kelvin Joseph snitched. He a snitch. He gave it up. And I'm like, in these situations, you, you, you darned if you do, you darned if you don't. You know, he's in a horrible situation trying to live a lifestyle that he probably comes from, grew up from, what he's bred from. And he's trying to integrate it into the NFL professional world. And you just can't. It's hard. You can't. A lot of us have street backgrounds, hood backgrounds. You know, not the greatest of upbringing backgrounds. But once you get into a corporate space, NFL, um, 9 to 5, etc. You got to leave some of that stuff at home. And unfortunately, the world's crossed over. And the most tragic thing happens in my past. But, you know... What happened is I'm sure Kelvin talked to his mans like, look, listen, either I can go down and everything that I have built with my talents stops or one of y'all can go ahead and just get yourselves up, give yourselves up, deal with the consequences, try to cut a deal, a bargain, etc. You know, hopefully the court have mercy on you for the horrible things that happened. And I can keep out here grinding, hopefully get to a second contract, keep this money flow. I'm the pipeline. I'm the money. I support this village, friends, family, etc. That's why they around me. That's why the friend, let's not get it twisted. When someone makes it and they bring an entourage, they are the pipeline. They're the funnel. They keep everything going. You take them out of the equation, everybody goes back to their old life. A lot of people suckle at the teeth. Uh, for lack of better wording, of where the money's coming from. 
especially if you're coming from lesser beginnings. You take Kelvin out of the situation, a lot of people's lives go back to normal or change. It's, they pretty much came to the realization, listen, you can't, you can't get caught up. I'm going to take the rap for this horribleness, even though obviously they did it. So they got it. You got to, you know, you made your bed, you got to land it. But my point is, you know, the greater good was accomplished. You know, people got justice for their loved one. You know what I'm saying? And Kelvin keeps to keep gets to keep playing at some point. At least that's what it looks like. I'm not a I don't not a mind reader. Cowboys could cut bait with him tomorrow and I could sound stupid. But as of right now, he looks like he's still gonna be on this team. We just gotta see what the league's gonna do suspension wise. Maybe they'll have mercy on the Cowboys for once because of the soft season from hell that we've been dealing with. But long story short, man. Kelvin Joseph pretty much had to cut a deal, plea bargain, um, snitch, whatever you want to call it, man. Grown man stuff, man. I ain't trying to hear that. This man made a clear mistake. His family or his friend's family, whoever that was went in the car, made a horrible, horrible decision to take someone's life. And they got to deal with the consequences. But right now, when I'll, I'll flip the football for a second, if y'all don't mind. I'm hoping that this, look, Kelvin Joseph has amazing talent. Fast, twitchy, great cornerback instincts. But he hasn't been focused. As much as I've been the you know, the head of the Kelvin Joseph fan club, I ain't like that title two days ago. Still kind of, you know, teeter tottering on it. Cause I feel just wishy washy on this whole situation. I got faith in Kelvin Joseph, the player. Obviously I don't know him personally. But hopefully this focuses him up. When he does get back on the field, maybe we'll get the best Kelvin Joseph that we ever could have gotten if this situation doesn't happen. Sometimes in life, you got to have that wake-up moment, that break glass moment, that I could lose everything. I could have lost everything. This is a second chance. Make no bones about it. Because a, a judge can say, you know what, or the prosecution or whoever, um, whoever locked him up can just be like, no, nah, you connected to this. And Kelvin Joseph can go from being on the streets and playing football, someone's dream in the NFL, to being behind bars for an extended period of time. So, like I said, this could be the moment where he cleans up his behavior. He has to detach from some of his family members, some of his friends from his past, and maybe just, I can send y'all bread, but we can't be around each other. We can't. Those days is over. I got to focus on football. The Cowboys is going to stick by him, and he's going to get a second chance. He need to show and prove that you got stuck by me in my darkest hour. I'm going to stick by y'all in our hopefully our finest hour on the field. You know, but this situation, man, is serious. I haven't really wanted to make videos about it because it's real. You know, it's real. If Kevin Joseph hears this somehow, because, you know, players pay attention. Listen, I know this is a sensitive situation. Me, a person that never met you speaking on your personal business. I'm just hoping the best. You know, you know, I, a horrible situation sometimes can create beautiful outcomes in the future. Right now, it's still all bad. But over time, you know, through play, through progressing your life, etc., I hope that you become a better man from this and that somehow, some way, things get made right overall. Because what's done is done, you know. But I'll try my best not to overstep no boundaries and be disrespectful to anybody because situations like this, man, if one of the family members come across this, I don't want to be disrespectful to them either. You know, I want to speak about this as respectful as possible. Football-wise, man, if he gets to keep playing, I hope that, like I said, this is one of those moments that he becomes a better man first. That's where it starts, foundation, person, man, brother, father. And then he becomes a better player for our team. Because what does Dak say? Pressure is a privilege. The pressure is turned up. So let's see. Let's see where we go from here, man. That's my thoughts on this situation, man. Um, Y'all you know, can share your thoughts on me in the, in the comments. Please be respectful. Don't be disrespectful because I'm probably going to just delete your comment. Don't, don't come in here talking crazy if you can, man. Because I know the whole snitch thing was floating around and people's just, listen, this is a real life situation. This ain't no game. This ain't no rap song. This ain't no movie. You know, act accordingly. But it's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. Appreciate the love, support, subscribes, likes. Tomorrow we back to straight football. I'll holler.